You know, we're getting uh, around one room done every day, but that's not enough. If we want to complete this soon without the world freezing over, we're gonna need to kick it into maximum overdrive. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Project Zomboid, the Builder Challenge, and today we're gonna be heading over towards the quaint little area that is the country club. Because A, I want to complete both bedrooms today, and if I can also help it, I would really like to mow the lawn. You know, this, this place is starting to get really overgrown, and I hate the vibes of it a lot, so... And today we're gonna be taking our nice sports car here just so we can bring our lawnmower back to it. But before we actually head over, we need gas. So let's go siphon out some from our uh, truck here. Around a full tank should do for today. Oh yeah, listen to that RPM. Woohoo, we're vibing. Let's try not to die. Anyways, like I was saying, we're gonna be paying a visit towards the warehouse first because I want some more paints. Particularly paints that we don't have. And before we do anything else, I kind of want to show y'all something. Something that not a lot of people know of. So after we take care of these two buffoons here, if you see right down here, there's a bit of a, there's a bit of a broken fence line. If we say, go into this area, we can come across a nice little paved road here. And at the end of this road is a freaking radio station and tower. Isn't that awesome? Uh, it's not even on the map right now, and if y'all want some cool furniture, it's right inside this small area here. I don't really, uh, I don't really have much in mind from this spot, but I did want to go, uh, check on it, just, just for today. But, uh, yeah, if you want a nice remote place, this is one that you can fix up real nicely. It also has a nice door. It has makeshift ham radios, and even better yet, a full-on control room with its own desktop computer. Isn't this cool? Sadly, you need a massive amount of electrical skill to take the security wall monitors, but if you want something, and uh, you might be able to get it. Yeah, I just thought I'd showcase it. Anyways, let's get back on it. After I take, uh, this door. I mean, come on, they're nice doors, all right? <laughs> You'd be crazy if I didn't. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take two of these bad boys. Let's go for three. No, even better yet, four. All right, I think four is our limit. This is, uh, currently breaking our kneecaps to a whole, whole new level. And I might just drop these off really quick, and then we can continue. So I'll see y'all in a in a second here. Oh gosh, my legs. We also leveled up our electrical skill from that small little interaction. I disassembled the quick light. Okay, let's get back, and I'll see y'all when I'm at the factory. Ah, here we go. We made it back to the factory. There's gonna be a few zombies to take care of, but with our current skill set and expertise, it should be no problem for us. Oh, that was a two-shot. We are becoming so damn powerful. <laughs> oh man, we, we just lined them up in a row. Let's go grab our paint now. Rightfully earned as well. Yeah, we have green, pink, purple, yellow. Yellow might be a vibe. We'll take yellow. We also got ourselves some good old fashioned blue, but there's not that much there, which is what scares me. But hey, it's one of the colors we don't have, so screw it. I'll take it. Okay, that's all that I really cared about though. Let's uh, head on back. We should be fine with the rest of the paints that we have. Thanks a lot, idiots. Well, off to the country club then. Hold on here, I almost forgot one thing that would look perfect in that bar. We have level one electricity now, so what I'm gonna do really freaking fast here is uh, yoink this son of a gun right here. Give it to me now. Oh, you know how good that's gonna look? Give me it before they catch up to me. Nice! Oh ho! You always gotta keep an eye out. Oh, getting that level one in electrical has really opened up the world to me, man. Now we just gotta fight our way back. We're gonna avoid that big horn up there. We're just gonna hurry up, get in our car, and get out. I would like to check out that box truck, but now's not the time. See you later. Toodaloo. Out of it, Archie. Please start. Please start. Woo! We're out. <laughs> ah. Alrighty, folks. We've made it back to the country club. And it seems like the zombie population has decided to increase itself yet again. Why am I not surprised? You gotta nip the buds before they can turn into full-fledged parasites, you know? Anyways, what I'm gonna be doing right now is I am going to drop off our scoop bag here. And we're gonna begin to, uh, turn into a walking 
storage unit, boasting over a hundred kilos of carry capacity. <laughs> uh, first of all, we really need some sleep and we need a bite to eat. But um, yeah, I came back here for a very good reason. And that's because I can't get enough of this blue freaking carpet. This is gonna look great inside of a home. Oh, I forgot my freaking knife. Hold on. Okay, here we go. And I think we're gonna be going for a nice blue for both of our bedrooms. And then we can kind of stylize each one, right? And I also am going to need these modern large beds. Particularly the four out of four one, because I did forget a part. And then a full one after that. And this is probably where most of my weight's gonna be coming from, really. All right, we have around 40 carpet, and that should be enough, but we are gonna be filling up the second bag here, and then we're probably going to take a few tiles, and I think after that we'll be golden. And let's also, right now, pick up this large modern bed right here. All we need to do is disassemble the parts, and we can pick it up for later. For now, we can drop off the two that are filled up. But I also would want some uh, tiling for the, uh, for the bathroom that I'm gonna be making really soon. And I think the type in here is going to be perfect for it. Man, this stuff takes up so much freaking space. <laughs> and last but not least, I do want to take the sliding glass door that we saw before. Hello, ma'am. I should probably kill you right now, shouldn't I? There we go. But man, does it finally feel good to be able to take this now? <laughs> Get in my inventory right now. There we go. I did save some space in my trunk, so it should be no problem. We'll be coming back here again next episode. I'll have you know, I still need a whole bunch of stuff here. Never mind, my trunk took even more damage. Okay, that's... Well, I guess we're gonna be leaving this... Ah, uh, damn it. I definitely want the other bed, at least for now. And if we pack properly, we should be able to take it with us. Oh, and of course, we can't forget the real reason why we're here. It's for this damn lawnmower. I want it, and I need it, and I'm gonna get it now. So let's back up. This is gonna attract a whole bunch of zombies to me. But that's fine, it'll be worth it. Alright, let's, let's go hurry up and drop this off before zombies get the memo. Come on. Oh, zombies are such a nuisance. They're not even a threat. They're just mildly peeving. There we go. Let's attach it, equip it, and I will see y'all back at base. Holy crap, that took a lot longer than it should have. How was the lawnmower this powerful? Hold on here. Okay, how about we tow it from the back then? If this doesn't work out, I am going to burn this thing, and I don't even care. Please work. Please. Okay, how about we use a lawnmower? Would the lawnmower work? No, no, we just gotta leave this- we, we gotta leave this thing. Oh, I could have done so much more. Fuck this thing. We're out of here. I'll just cut my lawn with a damn pair of scissors if it's that bad. Oh, that- that just- it just peeving me, man. I'm freaking peeved. But hey, at least we made it back. The brakes were so shit that I crashed into the back of my other car. But that's fine. These cars are junked anyways. I'm not- I'm, I'm not peeved. Deep down, I am seething, I am screaming, I am just foaming at the mouth, I'm ready to tear something apart. But let's try our best to relax now, okay? I think we're gonna place our nice, large, modern bed right here in this corner. And what we're gonna be grabbing now is all the carpet. We're gonna be laying down the carpet, and it's gonna be a good time. I'm not gonna let some small stuff send me over the edge yet and hey check that out we got a really freaking cool um thing here that we can grab let's replace the incognito one with the open sign neon fluorescence let's go oh isn't that so cool isn't that just just radical huh so freaking awesome and so very uh, seamless damn it i broke the pool cue stand up <laughs> nothing goes well for me I am in so much agony. Let's just go place down our carpets. Um, I need to do this now. Okay, looking nice. We got we got everything carpeted. We are gonna have to place a dividing wall between that, but that would be very easily, especially when we still have all of our stockpiles left. We only have two more carpet to go, and one more thing I'm gonna do to actually complete this up here without using any more, um, tiling, is I think we're gonna go for a nice, uh, walkway in that is tile, so that we can grab the extra three to six carpet here and use it somewhere else. All we needed was three, and we have five, so yeah, we, we have enough. Oh, 
Okay, it's looking nice. I, 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 I think we're gonna be able to do this. We can go ahead and use our final seat bag with the tiling that we grabbed from the country club. But first I wanna see if I have enough for my bathroom and then we can see what's going on. No, we don't. We only have enough for just a small bit here, okay. So we're gonna need to head back later, probably very soon. But for now, I think that looks pretty darn nice. So I think we're gonna go to sleep. Oh my God, we are actually dying of thirst. <laughs> that is, that is a first. Yeah, maybe we should grab a little bit of water. That was very close to becoming a very bad time for us. But uh, yeah, now that we finished that off, I think we're gonna go finish the walls and then we start to furnish everything. We should have quite a bit to get started and I think we'll be uh, looking pretty damn good. We got a bunch of posters and stuff to use for that. So I'll see y'all in the morning and then we can begin. You know, I really needed that rest. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling fan freaking tastic. And finally, I am over <laughs> all of the all of our kerfuffles from yesterday. We made a we made a lot of little happy accidents there. But now we can finally place our beds down. So let's do that right now. This one's gonna go right in the middle here. You know, there's some small part of me that wants to scream. I'm gonna ignore that for now. It might not sound like it, but I was feeling pretty good this morning. You know, I was feeling pretty limber, pretty cool. And I I just I just felt like I got punched in the gut. It was Oh. We can at least do one room right now, right? Right. But hey, you know, we got some yellow paint. That's pretty rad. Got some blue paint. Let's go paint the room blue at least. We might be able to fajangle something with mattresses, so I'm I'm not super downtrodden just yet. But let's go paint this room blue now, yeah? Ah, oh, there we go. It's such a nice little color. Yeah. Yeah, everything's gonna be all right. I mean, how can it go wrong when you have exactly enough? Check that out. Now, I know that the doorway is um white right now, but when we replace it with the uh, the glass door frame, it should blend seamlessly together. But there we go. Now let's paint this other room here yellow. Yeah, yeah, you know what? So what if um we picked the exact wrong bed and one single piece out of the whole puzzle doesn't work? That is not yellow. That is the grossest yellow I have seen in my life. Ew! Oh, hell no! Nah. No, nah, get, get this yellow out of here! Ugh, ew. I think we go for a nice orange instead, because I'm looking at the pink and purples and th they're not really doing it. I hope we have enough orange paint, and if we don't, uh, we don't. The rest of these are very, very not drastic in colors, so let, let's see how these look now. Yeah, orange, orange is a winner. I love orange. Orange is such a cool color. Let's paint this entire thing over and we can finally be done for, for now at least. Yeah, yeah, we only need a really do one whole wall here so that's that's very easy on resources and we can finally pick up the stretcher bed as well and replace it with um an actual large modern bed yeah there we go we'll place it right in the corner here and then what we can do is have our desk right down this way and it's gonna look perfect check that out and also i realized the reason why we don't need it right now is because um we still need to build up the wall so let's go do that as well now we have all the planks here Okay, there we go. We finally finished off uh, plastering everything. I had to do a little offshoot again, and I had to rearrange some stuff in order to fit it in. But the final result is really getting there. Anyways, we're going to go finish this bad boy off with the painting, and then we're going to furnish out this spot. And I want to show you an idea that I have, because I really don't want to drive all the way back to the, um, to the country club. Just to get one more bed, if you know what I mean. It's uh, quite a bit of work and I might be able to do something here. It's it's gonna be a bit of a scheme, but if it works, we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be making out like bandits. But if you follow me over here into this house, you're we are going to find ourselves coming across a very, very nice crack addict mattress all right now what we need is six planks and hey it'll work damn it it'll work won't it and we can make ourselves a brown bed a comfortable looking bed try to get a good night's sleep don't worry about the zombies really you will be fine sweet dreams thank you i i really need that message after all the mild inconveniences i've had today <laughs> and in the grand scheme of zomboid they really are first world problems you know <laughs> if you put it into perspective i'm having trouble trying to tow a mower just so I can mow my lawn 
While in another world, a survivor is barely getting by by the skin of their teeth, they're in the middle of nowhere, and they are surrounded by zombies. So really, I think I have it pretty good, and I think it's a, it's, it's a good lesson to humble yourself, you know? Really, at the end of the day, we're vibing. <laughs> we're vibing hard. I don't really like using this too often, but, um, hey, if it works, it works. And we are gonna need another set, which should be fine. Let's get this down, though, yeah? We'll get the first side, and then we need to revert... Oh, can we not reverse it? Oh no, we can't flip it. No, that- no, that's gross then. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know about that one, Chief. Destroy it, cast it in the flames of Mordor. I don't- I don't- ugh. Okay, we'll get another set of planks, and then we'll just build a normal bed then. Ah, here we go. Here's another bed. <laughs> Thank you, Nasco. And I will be taking that- that, uh, that whole bathroom set later as well. Maybe we take it now. Yeah, why the heck not? I'll take it. Ah, there we go. Okay, I like that a lot more. Sure, it ain't that big of a bed, but we can we can make this work now. I'm gonna go to sleep and I'll see y'all in the morning, and then we're gonna continue furnishing these bad boys down. At least we can sleep on a real bed now. <laughs> you gotta look at the bright side. Alrighty, it's the morning. It's 6.30. I think we ought to get right back at it. Now, I did wake up a little bit earlier than expected, so I did swap some more planks, should we need it later. But for now, let's uh, work on getting this all done. Now, first of all, I'm gonna want a gamer setup. So in order to do that, we need a desk. Now, the good thing is, is that while we were exploring this area earlier, we know that this little post right here has what we need. So we're gonna hop over there real lickety split quick and yoink that son of a gun. And hello there. You sure walked yourself into the wrong neighborhood. And I will be taking these lamps as well because we can um, actually harvest them. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be mine. So is that sink. That sink would look pretty damn good actually. But importantly, I just really need this office chair. So give me it now. Thank you. I accidentally took yellow tiles. You know what? Those might look good in the front area. I'll take them. I'll take three. And then lastly, can I not take the desk here? Can I seriously not take the desk here? Funny, that's hilarious. Oh God, what? <laughs> Why does the furniture hate me so much? God, nothing's going right for me. That's fine. We'll just use a table then. We have tables. We should have tables. Ah, uh, whatever. It is what it is, you know. <laughs> oh, gosh, all my plans are going to waste. You know, one thing we could do, though. Let's head up over towards our main spot. And I think those uh, floor tiles might be the same in our new bathroom. No, they aren't. It was worth a shot, though. And uh, while we are here, I'm going to be helping myself do some... Uh, not the shelves, but, you know, these little, like, these little tables here, and maybe, maybe a couch, I think, would look pretty damn nice. So I will be taking these. Why, why the heck not, you know? Yeah, yeah. These fancy oak drawers are gonna look great. <laughs> Give me all these doors. Th these are actually gonna look great in our base, so thank you. You know, th th there's a lot to be grateful for, really. Maybe I'm just being a little bit too whiny right now. Maybe I'm being a little bam bam boo boo baby. All right, let, let's go get what we have and l l let's finish this off. Bop, 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 bop. All right, now let's see what kind of desk options we have with the more buildings mod. Um, I would have gotten it, you know, by picking it up by at a location, but honestly seeing that I couldn't even pick up that desk that was back there kind of, kind of makes me want to take a bit of a shortcut. We can't make a desk, but that's fine, because we can make a nice table, and I think we go for a large, dark table. Yeah. I like that table. Now let's go grab our computer, place it down, and a bunch of our cool furniture. This is going to be the gamer pad, all right? We need RGB in this bad boy, and we need some posters as well, so that's going to look good, that Monica Lisa painting. This nice red lamp, desktop computer, of course, and all of these toddler rugs. First things first, computer, down. We also need this seat very soon. Let's also get the lamp right there, looking nice. The Elisa painting can go right there. And now let's get the toddler rug right inside this corner here. We have to make sure that the corners do meet and uh, it follows everything right now. Bam, there we go. Looking nice, looking great. Let's finish this bad boy off. And what I'm thinking right now is we grab ourselves this uh, beautiful tall mirror, place it right in there. We'll save the larger one for the uh, bathroom. Matter of fact, I'm going to be grabbing the scale and this right now just for that fact. Right there. Good spot for a mirror. And we'll leave the bathroom scale right in the corner this way. We still need to furnish this a little bit more, but it, it is kicking. All right. Just kicking. 
And now let's go grab some more stuff to uh, furnish out this little spot here. We do have a bunch of furniture to grab, so let's go grab that now. Another thing we can see is if these uh, yellow tiles are actually what I want in the entrance. You know what? That's not bad. I like that. We still need a little bit more, but uh, you know what? That works. And I'm also going to exchange this sink for this sink because I don't really like the white standing one that much. So if it breaks, it breaks. That's fine. Let's place down the gamer chair. Coming in right here. Get the nice blue curtain down as well for privacy's sake. Lastly, we have a couple of small tables and drawers here with the blue comfy chair and these fancy oak drawers. Oh yeah, these two are going to look great on both sides of here. Let's get a nice couch in the corner this way. Place that one there. And lastly, we have the drawer here, which I honestly might exchange for the small one here. Replace it with the drawer like that. Oh yeah, that, that looks a lot better in my opinion. And we can also place some stuff on top of it. Yeah, so how about I make this like the more professional looking place then? We have a nice plant in the corner. You know, make this a lot less uh, totally different because we have, you know, some nice clocks here. A whole bunch of junk and then we get ourselves a nice table a nice chair and i think we'll be done for today so how about we go for another nice dark table here these things just look really damn nice what can i say yeah let's place this uh son of a gun right here place the lamp right in the corner like that and then we finish it off with a nice red chair which we do have this red one down here to be exact yeah give me that bad boy right now yeah, I think this is the the, 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 the the winning design here. I like this. Uh, let's go build this final frame. And then we can go to sleep. And hopefully in the morning, we can look at our work without being harassed by the weather. Bada boom. Okay, I'll see you all in the morning. Whew. It's not done raining. Kind of like I expected, but I am a massive fan of our room here, especially this one. This is, this is my personal favorite room. I think this turned out fantastically. And this one here, all we have to really do is clean up all the, uh, the, the schmutz here. And this one looks very damn nice and professional as well. I don't know what we're gonna be doing with these large modern beds. Um, we're probably just gonna throw them out, burn it, cast it in the flames of Mordor. I, I hate, I, I don't even wanna look at it anymore. But yeah, I think I'm gonna finally end the episode here. Next episode, we're probably gonna head back to the country club work on the rooftop of this place and maybe start to work on the backyard and the whole landscaping as well. So we're probably going to get that mower. If you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, subscribe for more. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.